Tonight, we are learning more about events surrounding the death of the Boeing whistleblower, John Barnett. Barnett was found dead in his truck in a Holiday Inn parking lot just off of Savannah Highway. Preliminary reports from the Charleston County Coroner's Office are that his death appears to be from a self-inflicted wound. However, that has not quelled the public attention over his death. For years, Barnett said publicly he was retaliated against the world by the world's largest aerospace company because he blew the whistle on unsafe practices. Our investigative reporter Ann Emerson has been talking to sources familiar with the story today. Ann, what are you learning about Barnett's death? Well, right now we're trying to nail down the timeline of John Burnett's death and the last time anyone saw or heard from him alive. Take a look at this timeline. The hotel staff told police John Barnett checked into room 511 at the hotel on March 2nd. Barnett's lawyer tells me he sat down for his deposition with Boeing's lawyers on Thursday the 7th. It was the start of a months long deposition process ahead of the June trial. March 8th, Barnett puts his complaints of a hostile work environment at Boeing on the record with his lawyers, but he grows tired of the questioning and leaves a little early. The idea was they would resume the next morning. His lawyer, Rob Turkowitz, tells me he spoke to his client for the last time around 6 p.m. Friday night. Saturday, March 9th, the weather is terrible. Huge storms inundate this area. 924 AM, a hotel staff member said they heard a pop near where Barnett's car was parked, but thought nothing of it. Turkowitz called the hotel when Barnett fails to show up for the deposition around 10 AM. Hotel staff locate Barnett in his car with a gun still in his hand, and what they say was a note on the passenger seat. We did not have any indication that he was under tremendous stress to the point where he would you know take his own life well right now we are waiting for the charleston police department to finish the investigation into barnett's death they are the lead agency and have yet to ask for any assistance part of the evidence will include the coroner's report and whether this was indeed a suicide coming up at seven we're going to take a closer look at what we know about john barnett's state of mind before his death